Theodore. He's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat too. A friendly tugboat too. Oh, Theodore likes to do the things that friendly tugboats do. Pushing and a pulling in the great big harbor in the great big world is so much fun. So many brand new things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily, Oda, Hank and George and the harbor master too. Hello. You know, all of the ship's captains here in the big harbor are having a big picnic today, and I just love picnics. Of course, I'm not the captain of my own ship anymore. I'm the harbor master, but I'm sure they'll let me come. Although, it does look a bit rainy. I wonder if the picnic is still going to happen. Hello. Yeah, this is the harbor master. I was wondering. Uh, are we still having the picnic? Oh, I see. Thank you. How do you like that? They said I can't come because I don't have my own ship. I don't think that's very fair. You? What do you think I should do? Maybe I should talk to the tugs. Oh, yes. Oh, Emily would know what to do. Why? Let me tell you all about it. Theodore and George were finished work for the day. Now they could do whatever they wanted. What do you want to do, George? Asked Theodore. Tug of war, boomed George right away. George and Theodore tied their tow ropes together and Bedford dinged his bell. One, two, three, go! Bet you can't pull me past Bedford, blasted George, rooming his powerful engine. Bet I can too, thundered Theodore above the roar of his engine. and groaned. George boomed and vroomed. Bedford dinged his bell again as George pulled Theodore past him. I won! I won! announced George. Theodore and George laughed and tooted their whistles together. Tug of war was just about the most fun two friends could have. Hi, Emily! huffed Theodore all out of breath. Can I try? asked Emily. No, you can't, said George. Why not? asked Emily. Because you're a girl tug, said George. Girl tugs can't do tug of war. Well, when Emily heard this, her engine suddenly felt like it was boiling. She just floated off without another word. But Emily's our friend, said Theodore. Girl tugs can't do tug of war, George said again. Theodore, he didn't say anything else. But inside, what George had said just didn't feel right. The next morning, the tugs all got their jobs for the day from the dispatcher. Emily? said the dispatcher. There's a container ship arriving this morning. I would like you to move her with George. Emily floated forward. Excuse me, sir, but could Theodore work with George instead? You see, Emily was still very upset with George for not letting her try tug of war. Well, said the dispatcher, the ship has a very big load today. It might be tough tugging. Now George floated forward. Oh, we can move that ship without Emily, he boomed in his biggest voice. And then he vroomed his engine as if that proved it. Very well, 
said the dispatcher. Emily decided to visit her friend, Constance, the Coast Guard ship. Constance was just heading out on her regular ocean patrol to make sure all the ships outside the harbor were safe. I see you're not working today, said Constance, chugging along. Oh, I, I just don't feel like it, replied Emily. Sometimes it was hard for Emily to talk to Constance, because Constance always seemed so busy. Emily, said Constance in a softer voice. You're being very quiet. Is something the matter? I was supposed to work with George today, answered Emily. But, well, he thinks girl tugs aren't as good as boy tugs. That's nonsense, huffed Constance. I know that, replied Emily. But George doesn't. Just thinking about George made Emily angry. I'm never going to work with George again, she said. Never is a long time, said Constance. We all have to live together in the harbor. Well, said Emily, maybe if George said he was sorry. But Emily knew George would never say he was sorry. That just wasn't like George. Now, at just around the same time, George and Theodore were arriving at the harbor entrance to meet that big container ship, whose name was Catherine. Catherine did have a very big load, just like the dispatcher had said. In fact, Theodore had never seen such a stack of containers. They seemed to reach almost to the sky. Let's go, ordered George. Okay, George, answered Theodore. And then he gave Catherine his best push. Let's go, repeated George. I, I am going, replied Theodore. But... The ship isn't. I'm carrying a double load today, called Catherine proudly. Theodore made his toughest tugging face, and with a big pull from George, the great ship slowly began to move. See? shouted George. We don't need Emily. Catherine the container ship into the harbor. Soon, it was time to make the big turn around Willie's Island. Start turning, ordered George. I'm not trying, grunted Theodore. Theodore's end was drifting straight into Willie's Island. George heaved hard to turn Catherine. side, and all of her containers slid over on her deck. Theodore looked up, up. It seemed like the mountain of containers had suddenly grown. We're floating crooked, George, cried Theodore. With all those containers on one side of her, it was very hard for George to keep Catherine floating in a straight line. Hey! big voice boomed. Watch out there! It was Owen the oil rig. With a shudder, George saw that they were drifting straight towards the big rig. Stop! Theodore cried to George. Stop! George took a mighty breath and tugged hard against his tow rope to try and stop the heavy ship. But it was no use. In another moment, they would all go crashing right into the giant oil rig. We need help! shouted Theodore. If I can't stop this ship, roared George, no one can. George pulled
moved against that ship until it felt like his tow rope was going to snap. But it was still no use. I'm, I'm just not strong enough, he cried at last. For the first time he could ever remember, George the Valiant was ready to give up. George blew his deepest whistle. It was a special tugboat call for help. That's George's whistle, said Emily. He's calling for help, said Constance. Emily knew what she had to do. And she didn't waste a beat of her engine. Stop! Turn back! Owen was shouting. I can't! cried George. Someone help! That's Emily's whistle, shouted Theodore. Emily came smoking around the bend of Woolly's Island. She turned, turned straight into the path of Catherine the container ship. Emily butted her bumpers against her and began to push, push with all her might. Just seeing Emily seemed to make Theodore and George's tiredness disappear. They felt strong again. And together, George the Valiant, Theodore Tugboat, and Emily the Vigorous stopped Catherine the container ship right in front of Owen. Hooray! tooted Theodore. You did it, Emily! called Catherine. Good job! shouted George. Tugs took Catherine safely to her dock. Work was finished for the day, and now they could do whatever they wanted. What do you want to do, George? asked Theodore. Tug of war, said George right away. Then he turned and floated after Emily. Emily? He announced in his biggest voice. Do you want to do tug of war with us? I thought it was just for boy tugs, replied Emily. Theodore knew George was having trouble saying the words he'd been thinking of, so he floated over and gave him a gentle nudge. Emily, said George a little quieter. I'm... I'm sorry I was mean to you before. It, it doesn't matter if you're a girl tug or a boy tug. You're my friend. You're my friend too, George, smiled Emily. What are we waiting for? shouted Theodore. One, two, three, go! George and Emily laughed and tooted their whistles together. Tug of war was just about the most fun three friends could have. You know, Emily's story gets me thinking. I really wanted to go to that picnic, but since I can't go because I don't have my own ship, I can still make their picnic fun. Hello. Yes, this is the harbor master. Yeah, I, I was going to bring some marshmallows over to the picnic, but since I can't come, is it all right if my friend Rodney brings them? I can come? Wonderful! Oh, great! Oh, oh, thanks for visiting us here in the Big Harbor, and we'll see you all again next time. Oh, I love picnics. Theodore, he's a tugboat and a friendly tugboat, too. A friendly tugboat, too. Oh, Theodore. Likes to do the things that friendly tugboats do. Pushing and a pulling in the great big harbor. In the great big world is so much fun. So many brand new things to discover. Waking with the sun, gotta get the job done. Oh, Theodore and Emily. Vodak, Hank and George and the harbor master too.